The Writer Director project started because uh, a couple of us in the Guild on the board looked around and saw that the Guild needed to be rebranded in a way, that people weren't thinking of the Guild as something that actually helped them in their careers. They were just thinking of the Guild as this thing that occasionally sent out green envelopes and every 20 years or so went on strike. So one of the things that we noticed was that there were writers who had ambitions to direct but didn't know how to start. And yet there were 1,400 Guild members who were also members of the DGA. So wouldn't it make sense to start a workshop in which writers who have made that leap into directing could sit down with writers who were thinking about doing it and show them where the landmines were and what the benefits of it could be? That was the genesis of the workshop. It seemed ludicrous that we didn't just tap into the many writer directors that we had at the Writers Guild and create some kind of program so that when writers who are setting out to direct um, want a little advice, they don't have to cold call somebody. What your mentor is there to do is take you to lunch, sit down, hear the problems you're having, and talk to you about how he or she dealt with those same problems when they made their first movie. It's a chance for the person who has some experience to help the person who doesn't have experience. That's really the only difference. They're both well equipped to do their job. Um, I think for the Guild, it it's just another way that our union, which serves us in so many ways, can help make our professional lives just a little bit easier. We separate potential mentees into two pools. In one pool are mentees, potential mentees, who have a script that has either attracted talent or finance. In other words, a movie that actually looks like it's got a very real shot at going. They need a mentor immediately, and we put them with someone who's going to be the right choice for them as fast as we possibly can. In a second pool are those writers who have written scripts that they're trying to get put together in one stage or another that don't yet have money or talent attached. They need a different kind of help. And what they need is a separate workshop on how to, attack, on how to attract uh, talent or money to your movie. I signed up for this mentor program because it was the only thing that gave me direct access to the people that had answers to transitioning from being a writer to being a filmmaker. It's a move to go from being a, you know, just a, a writer behind the scenes on the page to be the one who makes all the decisions on set. And we're not in a good position as writers to go and ask pure directors, how do you do your job? Because it can come across as being a little invasive and it's yeah, it's hard. It's just a, it's a hard thing to approach. Uh, whereas a you know a writer who's made that uh, move on their own can have a lot of practical advice. What I needed most, as someone who was staring down the barrel of my first directing gig, was the real pragmatic advice of like how do you survive that experience and make sure that you can follow your vision from start to finish. Directing a movie, especially a movie that you wrote, is a tremendous learning experience. Um, from you know how ideas turn into words on a page which are expressions of those ideas and then turning these images that are in your head that are infinite in possibility down to the possible what can be done what can be afforded how much time do you have um, you know that that's that's a great thing to be able to sit down one-on-one -on -one with a writer who had become a director was was incredibly helpful to talk about their process. I remember with, with my mentor, the first thing I said was, if there were three pieces of advice you could give me, what would they be? Because I knew this person, they're very busy, they are giving me a lot of their time. And I actually ended up with two mentors, two different, two different discussions, and they both said, what a great question. And they thought for a minute. And then they gave me like 15 different things. We all want the writers who become directors to be successful. It's good for the whole group. And uh, any help you can give them, move them that way, so that people more and more are ready to say, well, he was a writer, but now he's ready to direct his material. He's ready to step into this other job. The more we can have that be the accepted notion in movies, the better off we are. I've been frustrated a bit by the lack of, uh, not, e not just the lack of control, really, but just the lack of input that as a writer, as a storyteller in the first place, that to, to try and make sure that some of the things that were seeded into the story early on managed to make it all the way through. And when I wrote this script for hours, I realized that it was a very personal story for me to tell, 
and then I had a connection with it like I didn't have with some of my other projects. So to do it justice, I felt like I needed to be the director of this one. Directing is an interpretive art, and who knows the work better than the person who has written the screenplay. It can be very satisfying to take the distance yourself. Um, this isn't to say that you should only write and direct. I, some of my most rewarding collaborations have been with other directors. Sometimes having that other point of view is really valuable. But if you have a hankering to do this and to see your own work through every step to the screen, I think it's, uh, it can just be one of the most rewarding things. Now, the experience of uh, directing a script we had written was, re was really interesting. Um, you know, I think um, facetiously, we, we decided, well, the first thing we'll do is fire the writer. Um, <laughs> just, like, just like it always happens. Um, I think it was really interesting. I think it, it definitely took some getting used to of um, each day, once you start shooting, you're trying to beat the page. You know, we had this script, and we were, very, we were very happy with our script, and it clearly had gained, you know, we'd gotten a great cast around it, but you know, the first day of shooting, it's not that the script goes out the window, but you really have to start transitioning from, you know, this is no longer something just to be written. You know, this is something we're turning into a three, you know, not three-dimensional movie, but you're turning into a visual medium. And so you can't just think of it as words and sentences. You have to start thinking about it as images. So it was, it was a very interesting process to, to you know, read the sides for the day or come into the morning's shoot and say, okay, here's what we have on the page. How are we going to make this even better in what we do today? So that was, I think that was the, the interesting challenge, um, but it was also a lot of fun. Now, as a writer directing your first script, I think that the biggest challenge, and it wasn't, it wasn't an incredibly hard challenge for me, but you had, it's the thing you have to constantly be aware of is you've got to let go. Things are going to change. Things are going to be fluid. Once you have all these other tools to tell your story, you have more options. So I didn't look at it as a bad thing. I didn't look at it as a thing, um, as a challenge, as much as an opportunity. When you're a writer and someone else is the director, your whole job is to defend the script and protect the script and make sure that every choice the director is making is in service of the intentions of the script. It's difficult as a director to always have that in mind. That's one of the challenges. There are, as everyone knows, a million decisions to make in a day. Um, and being there fully full-time as the writer and fully full-time as the director is challenging because they're different hats and they are different ways of thinking about how to move through the day. You know, I think having gone through the directing process and now thinking about the next script or how directing is going to impact our writing, um, I think it's forced us to become, or it's allowed us to become a little bit more economical. You know, I think it's, um, you know, so often as writers, and, you know, we, we had a, this experience a little bit, but you do, you do get a little partial to what you've written and um, to a particular scene or to something you really think is going to work, and then so many times you get either to the set or especially to the editing room, it's like, you know what, it works fine, but we don't need it. And I think it's going to help us almost become better self-editors. When you direct your second time, your writing then is influenced by, uh, you know, everything from all your triumphs to your fuck-ups on the set and in the editing room. You know, stuff that I think to the writer seems uh, incredibly important once you're on the set it is not as important. Stuff that on the written page seems to you like these were two crucial pages of dialogue you learn in the editing room that not only are they not needed, but by not having them, the story flows better with more energy. The conflicts are clear, cleaner. Once I shot this, this feature, and I went back and spent time with my editor in post, and we began cutting the film together, I realized <clears throat> how non-precious I was about the writing. I had feared that I would cling too much to my initial script and I find that it really becomes a different creature once you're in editing and you've got to figure out really works, what works best for the picture and it might not be something that you thought at the start of it. But having the power to make that decision on your own and knowing where you came from and knowing what this uh, movie still needs to say um, is a, a great gift. If you can become a director, if you have that many more arrows in your quiver your life is no longer going to be dictated by the ups and downs of where the screenplay market is on a given day.
if you're someone that a studio can look at and they can say, oh, that person can just take it from A to Z. They can do everything. They can develop it, they can write it, and they can shoot it. You become a very valuable commodity, and they keep coming back to you over and over and over again. I got so much advice and so much sound guidance from my mentor that there was the single greatest thing that I'd done for myself as a first-time filmmaker. And I don't see why any writer wouldn't take advantage of this program.